Hi, this is Dr. Ram from Edmanus. In this session, we are going to discuss about the limbus histology. So, the limbus is an area measuring 1.5 to 2 mm wide at the junction of cornea and the sclera. So, here I have drawn the sclera that is the outermost portion of eyeball. This is going to continue anteriorly as the cornea. This is a transparent zone through which light enters. So, the limbus is at the junction of the cornea and the sclera. And this is a transparent membrane that covers the anterior portion of a sclera which is called the conjunctiva and this is ocular conjunctiva. Now what I am going to do is take a section of a cornea and discuss about the five layers of a cornea and then we talk about the limbus how these five layers gets a transformation here. So these are the five layers of a cornea. The outermost is the non-keratinized stratified squamous epithelium. Note the major portion of a cornea. This is substantia propria or we can call it a stroma. This is filled with collagen fibrils. This stroma is bounded anteriorly by the Baumann's membrane or anterior limiting membrane and posteriorly by Desimet's membrane or posterior limiting membrane. Note the single layer of endothelial cells here. Now, this five layers of a cornea is going to get a transformation into these structures at the limbus. In order to have a good understanding and better memorization, I'm going to draw a rough diagram and then we'll go over the histology slide. So, the first two layers of a cornea is the epithelial cell layer and the Bowman's membrane. Note that at the limbus, this epithelial cell layer is going to continue as the epithelial layer of the ocular conjunctiva. The Bowman's membrane is going to continue as the lamina propria of the conjunctiva, that is the layer beneath the epithelium and also the tenens capsule. The tenens capsule is nothing but the outer covering of the sclera. The third layer is the major portion of a cornea that is a stroma or a substantia propria that is going to continue as the sclera. The fourth layer and fifth layer. The fourth layer is the decimates membrane or posterior limiting membrane that is going to end abruptly here. This is called Schwab's line. Note that the posterior limiting membrane continues as trabecular meshwork or trabecular network. This is a sponge-like structure that communicates with the anterior chamber here. So the aqueous humor which is in the anterior chamber that is going to flow into the canal of shelm through this trabecular meshwork. And the final layer is the endothelial cell layer. This layer lines the trabecular meshwork and also lines the anterior portion of the iris. Two more important points. You can notice something different here. So at the limbus, the subepithelial connective tissues is thrown into folds here. This area is called palisade of oak. So this is the histology slide. You can appreciate the subepithelial tissues that is thrown into a lot of folds here so as to increase the surface area. If you take the epithelial cells, these are the basal cells which acts as stem cells that helps for regeneration. So these are all the basal cells in the palisade of oak. In this histology picture, you can see the sclera that continues as cornea and this is the limbus. Here you can appreciate the canal of shelm and this is the anterior chamber where you can see the aqueous humor draining into the canal of shelm through the trabecular meshwork. And this is the triangular piece of tissue formed by the sclera that is projecting into the cornea. This is called the scleral spur. Note that this scleral spur is attached anteriorly with the trabecular meshwork and posteriorly with the ciliaris muscles. This muscle is present in the ciliary body. Now a small revision on this slide. 
So the corneal epithelium is transformed to the epithelium of the bulbar conjunctiva at the limbus. This Bowman's membrane is going to continue as the lamina propria of the conjunctiva and also the tenens capsule. The substantia propria is going to continue as the sclera. A decimates membrane it is going to end abruptly at the Schwalbe's line and also continue as the trabecular meshwork posteriorly. Endothelium is going to line the trabecular meshwork and also it continues with the anterior surface of the iris. I hope this session is super useful for you. See you then. Thank you. See you with more interesting videos. Yeah.